Hey friends, it's George Ira Carroll. I'm here with an amazing group of people called Lawyers with Purpose, and they have a message for you. Your story has value, doesn't it? Is that your story has impact? Do you recognize that? And do you know that your story is a unique, energetic blueprint that nobody else on this planet has? How cool is that? So I'm just a kid, right, from Pueblo, Colorado. As you from a young age, my passion, my dream, my vision was to play professional football. Now I know you're looking at my massive five-seven frame <laughs> and thinking, gosh, she really does have the build for it. <laughs> so three years in a row, I was all conference, and then I was, if you can imagine, it's a kind of a gloomy day, right? It's really cloudy. And I'm a wide receiver. So I'm, you know, part of my job is to catch balls, score touchdowns, and also block defenders. So I'm 95 yards short of our school record for yards in a career. Everybody? 95 yards short of our school record for yards in a career, and it's a run play, right? So the run play is coming from behind me, and I'm sitting here blocking my guy, blocking my guy, blocking my guy. All of a sudden, the runner gets tackled from behind, and my right leg is firmly planted into the ground, and guess where he gets tackled? Right on my leg, and just it literally breaks my leg instantly, breaks my ankle instantly, and it broke my heart. You know, my childhood dream of vision had come instantly to an end for me. So I graduated with a communication degree, no clue what I wanted to do, moved to Denver, I got into corporate selling, and I was just so hungry and determined to succeed that within about six months I moved into a, a sales manager position. I was managing a team of about 10 salespeople. And I was also moving further away from my own integrity and my own values being led by autocratic leaders who were very abusive, emotionally and mentally abusive, using employees as a number to hit their bottom line. And after two and a half years, even though I was making a lot of money as a 24-year-old, I fell into a deep state of depression. I remember lying and I resigned because I wasn't emotionally fit to lead people anymore. I just wasn't. So I resigned. And I remember laying on, in the fetal position in my bed, crying, like just sobbing. And I started asking questions to God or the universe or whatever's out there or in here. So why am I here? What's my purpose? I found myself in Denver Public Library in the personal development section. And I pulled out a book that said Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins. Anybody familiar with this book? That book changed my life. The idea that was presented to me was that you can literally direct your thoughts direct your emotion, and direct your behaviors to create anything that you want in life. That concept never really hit my brain until that moment. And then, I so when I was resigning from my job, a lot of my, um, the people that I was managing said, you should be a motivational speaker, you should be a motivational speaker. And the third time that somebody said it, I finally heard it, and I said, ah, okay. And so I started going in my mind daily and imagining me in front of large audiences, and I had no idea how it was gonna happen. I started imagining myself in front of large audiences, inspiring and impacting people in, in a positive way. And I just knew that going into those, the, that future reality that I wanted to create was far more pleasurable than the pain that I was feeling at the time. As we fast forward to the present moment, five years ago I started my business. My first workshop, guess how many people showed up? Four people. Four people. And I got a glimpse of the vision that I created five years ago when I was totally down and depressed. And as I look back on my life, I start to realize that without the struggle, without the pain, it wouldn't have given me you know, the, the, the emotional tug to go out and search for something. How many of you have been in a rock bottom place in your life? And what if that rock bottom place, by sharing it, by communicating it to your potential clients, to your friends, and to the world, can actually inspire others to their greatness?